you look at the army, there's a new cyber team. I think that excites some, some young guys. You know, they, their old view of, I want to wear the green and I want to go out. It's changed a little bit, maybe the cyber for the, even them guys and gaming and, you know, sadly, you know, the, the, the you know, the, the killing sprees on, on, but it's a different kind of mindset. It's not about, you know, it's the whole cyber area there is becoming exciting. I think people, as you say, they're savvy techno technologically, the young guys, so they're more receptive. And I think it's a th that's the other thing, it's the receptiveness, because quite, when you get a bit older, certainly I, I'm the case, you, you become used to what you know a little bit. Uh, and as you get older and older, you just impart knowledge, your, your, your experience, and you know, you're not as fast to move to the right or to the left. Whereas I think young guys can be, and I think cybersecurity is an adaptive, uh, so you need young guys in there because everything changes every year. Something new has got to be, how do you get that across? Well, you need younger people. People who just want to get involved, who are receptive to change, who are open-minded, flexible, that's the kind of person you want, you know, going forward in the cybersecurity area, coupled with people with that experience of policy, governance, who make sure there's coherence across the piece. So implementation I see as a young man's game, policy and doctrine I see as a, that's probably my game now. But it's, that, and, but how do you get people infused, you know, in, interested? And it's because you create hubs, places where people go, I want to knock their door. I want to find out what they do. Um, get, promote, you know, promoting it. And if there's a, you know, when you go in to buy a house, uh, into a new housing estate, there's always a show home. And that's the way I see it is that you, you have this big hub, be it an area of X, it doesn't just have to be cyber, but there's someone managing on behalf of that whole area, you know, bringing children in, you know, running videos, and then someone from Microsoft who's in this tech hub comes in maybe one day, maybe someone from ITSUS comes in one day, and you continually bring in schools around. Like, they go to TechnoQuest. Why can't you have that in a hub area where people can come in and go when they're 10, when they're 15, when they're 21, when they're 25? They don't, you know, it should never stop. But it always on, you know, and that could be run through webinars, videos. Once they're done once or twice, you can, people don't have to travel all the way to this hub. They can remote in and watch a video and a seminar. It, it, there's so much inspiration you can have by having these guys together. But uh, maybe I'm just talking bonkers, but uh, maybe it's a lot to implement. Maybe it's a lot to ask for. I don't know.